driving, but I'm seriously paying attention to the road. More attention to the road than you guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so anyways, I just wanted to say something. Um, I want to say that I think humans pay, you know, more attention to our immediate surroundings, and that's totally normal. And I think humans think, humans who live in the city think that there are only humans and dirt and ants and cockroaches and we only think that the things that we see is life and is sustaining life and facilitating life on this planet and we see trees and we're like ah oh, cool trees we like trees they give us oxygen and stuff like that what the fuck does an ant do for me? I don't know, but it gets in my kitchen, you know, but we also know, okay, they're doing something, you know, something for us. And I think we forget that we are part of this huge planet with rainforests and with oceans and deserts and all the creatures and everything that makes them up and I think we think that all of those creatures like lions and and tigers and you know peacocks well we see them at the zoo but we think that they're basically just here for our entertainment you know they're like a tv show on Discovery Channel, you know, or PBS, something like that. So, which is awesome, and they're getting a lot of publicity <laughs> via those, you know, those media outlets, right? Good, they've get, got good marketing teams, uh, <laughs> good PR people, for the most part, you know? Um... So, what are we doing? What are we, are we disconnected from the life that we are actually living? Because we're so caught up in, not to any real fault of our own, but it's just, it's just what's around us. It's what we see on a day-to-day -day basis. I see buildings, and I see dirt, and I see other people, and I see trees, and I see, you know, vehicles, and stuff like that. So we see, and we focus on what we see, and like, out of sight, out of mind is so damn true, and it's, in some ways, it's good, depending on what you're talking about, like, if there's something that, uh, I don't even know what, how that would, I don't know what part of thing that, that would be good to do, but to not have around or whatever, um, or to, to be not seeing and not having your mind on, I'm trying to think, if you can think of anything, let me know. But just being aware is, in the long run, uh, going to be good for us. And I think, honestly, if we're thinking about it right, being aware is going to feel good. And so what I'm talking about here mostly is conservation, for me, at least. That's how I see this conversation going, the direction of this conversation. And, you know, I feel that, I, that when you're looking at it, the full picture, it's going to feel exciting and motivating and invigorating because of how not only beautiful, but necessary all of our wildlife is, whether that is like in the ocean or like in the jungle, in the rainforest, you know, in Africa. I mean, I know that the wildlife is not only in Africa, but I, you know, I've heard that there's some wildlife, a bit of wildlife in Africa. <laughs> so anyways, just all these, these beautiful creatures that we think are just here for us to see at the zoo, you know, or us to, you know, admire from afar, to go on safari and see the elephants. But these are freaking, these are real beings. These are real things existing. These are real consciousnesses existing 
on this planet and they're part of this whole ecosystem called earth so um, I would just maybe some of you are already passionate about this but I would just encourage you to maybe consider like what is your favorite animal and how can you like find some way to support this animal or find an endangered species list and and ask yourself how can you support one of these amazing creatures who if you look at it from a very much reality standpoint if they're on the endangered species list you know the alternative to really putting in an effort to save these creatures and to um, be aware of their their existence uh, is that we would literally never see them again except for in documentaries of the good old days when we used to actually see giraffes or bobcats or whatever this maybe obscure creature is um, we could help it to continue to live on this planet because of our efforts and I think that's pretty cool and these animals are freaking awesome and if you just really look at them or think about them or study them or something they're so freaking cool and they're so much like you you know I've heard that we're only like either 1% or 0.1 or even smaller than that percent human and you can find that statistic um, uh, the way I found got the statistic was um, some other resource a long time ago but the one that I can remember is impact theory interviewed a man who I cannot remember his name but his the subject was the human biome so if you watch that interview of impact theory it will mention that and then maybe you can find other resources that say that we're literally like not very much human or so much actually almost exactly like all the things around us so yeah let's keep this thing called life going give these creatures a chance at survival all right thanks for watching